Susanna is with us in Washington. Hi, Susanna. How are you? Hi, Dave. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. What's up? So I discovered you yesterday, <laughs> and I'm very glad I did. Um, I listened to you all day, and uh, I went home and made a plan. Um, I'm 42. I have two kids, 18 and 14, uh, and I, uh, you know, I make about 160 a year. Wow. Uh, but I have $140,000 in student loans and a car. Mm -hmm. So I know that if I put my mind to it, I can do it. Um, I actually did some math yesterday, and I know that I can do it. The only thing is that I have an 18-year-old that's going to start college um, this year, and I don't have enough saved up for her. So I wanted to know if instead of paying off everything and tightening everything up, um, you know, for two year or three year goal, I extended it to five years, and I wanted to know what you thought about that. It's okay. Uh, I'm not sure it's your total picture. You make a okay. lot of money, and you've done really okay. good on the income side. Congratulations. Thanks. What do you do for a living? I'm a pharmacist. Ah, very good. Okay. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the eight. I'm going to send you a book called Debt Free Degree. Okay. By Anthony O'Neill. It's a number one bestseller. He's one of our Ramsey personalities. And the book is all yeah. about how your kid can go to college without taking on any debt. One mm -hmm. of the things is for mom to help, and we want you to help. But kiddo mm -hmm. has a lot of work to do. Kiddo is going to choose a school that is very affordable. Kiddo is going to apply for a thousand scholarships and get turned down for most of them. But if they get 20 or 30 of them at $1,000 a piece, that'd be a big deal, wouldn't it? No. Their new okay. job starting today is applying for scholarships. Their new job is they're going to a school, not that they like how pretty the campus is, but that is affordable because mama is broke and so is kiddo. So broke people don't go to expensive schools. Agreed? Right, yes. We already have that plan to, Good. to go to community college. Yeah. Good. And, and, ki do, and kiddo's going to be working. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Kiddo's going to yeah. be working He's and paying for that. stuff yeah. Yeah. and getting uh -huh. scholarships. Yeah. And you're going to community college. That's, all, that's a wonderful plan right there for the first two years. In the midst of that, you should not have to contribute much. Okay. If they're if they're working and they're getting scholarships and they chose an affordable school and you know they can do a lot to get themselves through school, so I'll send you the book that maps that out and you guys lay it out and figure it out together and then yeah you lay your budget out and say okay I can put X number of dollars a month towards your college and the rest of it we're going to attack this debt with and the rest of it we're going to live on nothing, we're on okay. beans and rice One. rice and beans. I, I have some money in my 401k, which I've invested in since 18 years ago. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering, I know that you say not to touch it. Correct. Um, and you also say to stop investing in 401k while you're paying your debt. Wow, and you got a lot in one day. Me. It scares me. Yes, I got a lot. I, I When I put my mind to something, I I, <laughs> I went to school with three kids, um, and I, I did it, and I just, you know, I want what's best for them and for the art teachers, so I just want to be smart about it before it's too late, you know. Stop uh, adding to your 401k and attack your debt. You want me to stop my 401k? Absolutely. You've got a huge amount of debt. You've got to clean it up. You are not going to okay. prosper with this around your neck. It's been around your neck for a long time, hasn't it? It hasn't. I graduated just three years ago. Okay. But, I mean, yeah, how, how so long does it take to get tired of $140,000 in debt? Uh, I'm already tired of it. 20 so. seconds. <laughs> yeah, 20 seconds yeah. later, I'm tired of that. So, yeah, you need to you need to live on nothing and clean this mess up very, very quickly, and then you have the rest of your life to build wealth and pay college tuitions and build wealth and enjoy your life. But right now, all your stinking money is going to student loans. The great news is you got a big shovel. The bad news is you're in a pretty good size hole, and you're going to have to get with it here, kiddo. Hold on, Kelly will pick up and we'll get your debt-free degree sent out to you so your kiddo can go to school without going into debt and without draining mom's pocketbook in the process.